Item number four, presentations. We have a number of presentations this evening. Uh, the first one is present beautification task force. Awards. And I'm going to give it off to Irene. Thank you. Um, before I start the actual awards, we have a couple of projects that we're uh, highlighting today. Before I even do that, I'd like to introduce you to or tell you about my Beautification Task Force members. And a few of them are here tonight, and, but I'm going to read you the whole list. It won't take very long. Uh, so I have Sally Calvert, Jane Calvert, Sandy Headley, who is here tonight, Emile Hans, Carolyn Livingood, who is also here, Bridget Lopez, Carol Moriarty, Val Morgan, who is here, Melody Tobin, who's here, Felicia Nerby from Recology, and Joan Burrell, who is an honorary member. These are the people that work so hard to do the presentations, to actually get all the programs that we do together, the Operation Clean Sweep, I'm sure some of you know, and the Centennial Tree Project, and the Adopt a Planter Project that we'll be telling you about in just a second. So what I'd like to do tonight is start out with the Centennial Tree Project. Um, I have some people in the audience that I recognize that have had a Centennial Tree planted. And um, those of you who haven't and who, who would like to, I hope you sign up. There, this is our 100th year. I hope you all know that. This is our 100th year um, anniversary. And to celebrate that in a lasting way, I wanted, and the Beautification Task Force sponsored, planting 100 street trees. And these are free trees from the city, and the city will maintain them for the life of the tree. And in fact, if the tree dies, the city will replace them. So it's a bargain all around. And if you happen to see the presentation before the council meeting, it talked about trees and why they're so important. So I have a certificate for the people who have a tree. And if those people who've had planted a tree, would you come up here and I will They represent the 57 trees that we've planted so far. We have 17 more trees that are scheduled to be, be planted this next Saturday. And then we have slots for six, 18 more trees, because I've already had some promised. So if you hear this announcement and you would like a street tree, please look on the city website and you'll see where it tells about it and it has my email address and you can sign up for a tree. So you get the certificate. This happens to be for the first person who had a tree planted and it has your name, your family name on it, has your address on it and has the certificate telling you which number of trees is yours. So we hope that you will all take yours. They're outside in the lobby. We hope you take some cookies because there's a lot of them and we hope that you will enjoy your trees for many years to come. So thank you and um, does anyone want to say anything? <laughs> Jamie? I love my tree. I love my tree. It's beautiful. I encourage everybody to have one. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming. And we, we invite you to stay for a little bit longer and see the rest of the program. So thank you. Next part of our program is called Adopt a Planter. And I have a clicky thing here that I haven't used before. And so I will try that out. And I've been told by my tech person to point it at the, oops, no, now I'm doing the wrong thing, to point it at the, ah, there we go. Um, this is a program for the businesses. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, on San Mateo Avenue, they, most of you know San Mateo Avenue has these planters in front of them, and I believe that's one of them. And the planters have trees in them, and, but not, not much else. So they don't look all that attractive. So one of the things that the Beautification Task Force members wanted to do is beautify that area. So we are honoring um, seven businesses tonight. 
Some of them have been honored before, but we wanted to give them new certificates because they've kept their planters up. And this is what happens. You can see on the left that the planters get planted with uh, flowers and shrubs that are low maintenance, low water. And they also get a plaque that says adopted by and whatever the name of the business is. And Tandy Letter is one of them. So you can see how attractive, much more attractive that is than it, that very first picture you saw. And I don't know if there's any representatives from the businesses here. Could you raise your hand if you are? No? Okay. I'll just go through these. It's a little advertising for the businesses. And you all now know what the program is like, so you can encourage the business on San Mateo Avenue that they can adopt this. They can uh, contact Jamie at the San Bruno Chamber, and we'll get you started on it. So this was Tandy Leather. Um, I always say this wrong. Diddly do, thank you. Diddly do. Summer's Laundry. Uh, Costas Just Things. He also has two planters there in front. Um, Grand Leader Market. And Never Too Latte. They took over that planter even though it wasn't right in front of them. That was very nice of them. And now the City Bank is our, City Bank is our newest. They actually have three, four planters. Um, this one in front. This one um, also in front by the um, huh, clock but from Rotary, which is a nice addition to the San Mateo Avenue. And that, that was that. So even though they're not here, let's give them a, an applause. <laughs> so before I go on, I have my script here, and I woefully forgot to say a few things. So before we go on, I want to make sure I say these things. Um, I want to thank, and I thank, I saw him earlier. I want to thank, Ren uh, there's Renee, Renee Walsh. He is uh, our main man when it comes to planting the 100 trees. I send him emails, I whine to him. Um, he gets the trees, he double checks that the place people want them to be planted is an okay place that the roots won't grow into the utility lines. Um, he goes back if we, if my volunteers don't plant them properly or whatever happens. So I'd like us all to thank um, Renee and his team. Um, I also want to thank a few more people that actually go out in the morning with us. They they dig the holes and they plant the trees. It's not staff who does this part. So. Um, it was the Boy Scouts of Troop 72, the Interactive Club of Cappuccino High School, the San Bruno, some San Bruno Lions, San Bruno Rotary, and just some residents of San Bruno. And so especially, I want to thank Mark Tobin, who's Melody's husband. He was so outstanding. He's planted over 10 trees just by himself. Well, it's a little help from friends, right? <laughs> so I just want to make sure we thank him, too. Okay, the next thing that we have is the Beautification Awards themselves. And I want to thank Larry Franzella and Prudential Realty. They donate the money for the prizes that you'll be getting. Uh, they donate these plaques that the first place winners will be receiving. And they donated the money for the little party that we had in the reception that we had up front. So, moving right along, Thanks. our first, I make sure I do this right, um, this is our 18th year of doing beautification awards. We have three categories. The first category is single family, well, this is uh, in general what the awards are designed to recognize the efforts of residents. We didn't do any businesses this year, but um, public entities and focus on the exteriors that require significant commitment on the part of the property owner or renter. And the first one is single family resident. And this is for people who have, uh, for, sing for, curb <laughs> for curb appeal, um, that in general they are attractive and pleasant to live by or to live near or pass by. And what the first category are gonna be people that have been nominated for the different categories, and then we'll tell you the winners, third, second, and first place. So as you go through these, the, the homes were nominated either by Beautification Task Force people or residents of San Bruno. So um, 161 Popular Avenue, 172 Popular, 
poplar. 122 cypress. 123 Cypress is a nice neighborhood. <laughs> 127 Cypress. 308 Oak. 468 Oak. 420 Cedar. 424 Taylor Avenue. An older, one of the older houses in the neighborhood near the heart of San Bruno. 390 Chilton at Lane. Thirty-six thirty-one Ex Exeter. Exeter. Thank you. It's one of my problems. And now we come to the third place winner, which is 640. Oops, I'm so sorry. I forgot Elm. 169 Elm. Avenue. And now it's Hensley Avenue. And you can see uh, the details, the paint, the lavish um, door, and all the details that make this uh, ha have a lot of curve appeal. So are the people who live on 640 Hensley Avenue here? Oh, come on up. So they'll receive a certificate. A check for $20 that was donated, and our gratitude for you working so hard. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, no, you can't be worse than me. So would you like to say anything? Or? No, I just thank you for nominating us. <laughs> yeah, thank you for nominating For you. Oh, and you. We, do you no, yes, no, like to yeah, say something? Yeah, just like a, it's a hat. And it's a good hat. <laughs> Keeping oh, the hobby? house clean, yeah. <laughs> and it's lovely. You can really tell how much you yes, enjoy it. Yes, in and out. <laughs> Total. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we're, we're very glad you could come. Uh, the next one is the second prize, and this is 1701 Claremont Drive. Claremont, please. <laughs> Some days, in the next 19 years or so, I'll, I'll get them right. Um, these... The Pellegrinis, are the Pellegrinis here? No, I didn't see them. Um, but they will be receiving a certificate and a check for $25. And then we have our first place winner, 1077 San Philippe Avenue. And this is the side yard and the front. And you can see all the detail and how lovely they've put this all together. So are they here today? Oh. George and Sandra Fisher, are you here? I thought you were. Well, I'm s I, they were intended to be here, and I guess something held them up. So we will make sure they get their plaque and everything. But we can give them a hand of applause anyway. Uh, the next category is improved property. These were nominated by uh, people other than ourselves. And unfortunately, we don't have before pictures. But you can imagine from what you'll see, it, they used to look like the picture on the left, and uh, uh, they've had a lot of improvements. So the second place winner is 349 Taylor Avenue. Um, they've redone, they've added the top, they've added the different details that you can see, and they've done a lot of work. And if you know the Taylor Avenue at all, you know it's very small and narrow, and they've done a lot with their space. So are the... Prasad, are they here tonight? Yeah. Oh, you are. Come in. Yay. Hi, congratulations. You really worked hard, and it shows. Would you like to say anything? I want to thank you very much to my husband. He really deserved this because he did a lot of work, you know, in front, in front, outside, and inside of the house. I want to thank you to my mom and dad too in helping me with this. And, and you will be proud to know that it was a neighbor that nominated you. Somebody really noticed how much you did on your house and how great improvements you made. 
And then our first place winner is 172 Acacia Avenue. And um, the person, you can see they redid the sidewalk, they changed the cement into the decorative stones, they put uh, vinyl paneling, they painted the tram, they did a lot of changes. So we would like to honor them for all their efforts and Mark and Jan Foreman, oh, you're here, yay. <laughs> come, on, come on down. <laughs> well, we, we're very proud to present this to you, and oh, we're proud you. to present this plaque to you, oh, and we hope you. you display it proudly. Oh, we will. And would you like to say something? No. <laughs> <laughs> our, our, our project started with me getting tired of raccoons and squirrels taking up our front yard, so. The most permanent thing we could do is be to totally block out all the yard and put in landscaping. And by the time it was done, and they had done such a pretty job that um, I guess it was nominated for an award. So there thank you, you very much. Thank you. And we're down to our last category, is there escaping? And I took these pictures this is some place in our neighborhood that the one on the left could almost be my front yard. Uh, we're all trying to save water and we all are getting to some place around here like that. Um, the one on the right is also in San Bruno down, I forget which street, but this is the zero scaping. Low water use and or drought resistant landscaping. And we have several. As I scroll through these, it was extremely tough for the, the Beautification Task Force members to decide on which ones would get the awards. You can see a wide variety of how people landscape for the low water use and the drought tolerant uh, landscaping. So I'm, it might give you some ideas and people who are watching might get some ideas. And that's just some more explanation. So 560 Maple was nominated and that was a close up of their yard. 3951 Coronado Way, and they did a slightly different technique, but again, low water use. Um, this one's 122 Elm, and they did all their spots. It's really lovely. 121 Acacia Avenue, again, another type of technique, but also low water use. 356 Chapman Avenue, and more, uh, again, a different technique. 1985 by Glass Drive. 446 Hawthorne Avenue. Twenty one fifty Seacliff Way. And again, another technique. And now we come to our winners. Third place winner is 618 Pepper Drive. And oh, you are here. Excellent. Congratulations. I, uh, we did a, a great job, and uh, Carol designed it. But if you, you didn't really, maybe on the second picture, I don't know. We have a, no? Oh, your water We have a waterfall. Yeah. So it's, uh, Right. So, but as you notice, if you go up Pepper now, more and more neighbors are, are change, whoops, changing to this. So it's, it's pretty nice. We're happy with it. It's excellent. Yeah. Thank you again. Thank you. Our second place winner is 114 Acacia, oops, there's Pepper, 114 Acacia Avenue, and you can see a, again, a different technique. And there's a close-up. So, Janice Mir, are you here tonight? Oh, yay! Too, but he's talked. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. 
And our first place winner and last thing for tonight is 21201, sorry, uh, Castleton Way. And again, slightly different technique. That's why it was so hard to pick, um, but people did a lovely job. And the Smith, oh, I even can say that one. Yeah. The Smith yeah. family is here. Yay. Owner. I've been working for more than 20 years by myself. <laughs> I'm still struggling. I try, I, I wish I could, from this garden, inspire more neighbors. I've been trying. <laughs> I still I will continue my Good. gardening. <laughs> and I bring my three friends from Millbury yes. and Burlingame and San Bruno. Yeah, I told them. <laughs> Thank you very much. And if you p display this, maybe some of your neighbors will get the idea. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will put it there. Because well, actually, year 2000, I got one too. Yeah, but that I was 14 years ago. I reluctant to put it outside. <laughs> okay, now I put the two together. Okay. Yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But every night I need to put it back on. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, we're, for this we're very proud to okay. keep. Thank you, thank you that you have it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And that concludes our program for this. Uh, we hope that has inspired you and we hope that you encourage your neighbors as you um, see that other people have. And don't forget, if you want a street tree, let me know. Thank you. And a special thanks to Irene and all the members of the beauty, Beautification Task Force. They've been working on this for many years, as you know, and it's really grown. So uh, congratulations once again. You do a great job. <laughs>